In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can create Office 365 SMTP step-by-step -step and hit inbox. I will also walk you through how to configure your Office 365 SMTP and get 10 over 10 sending score. Let's jump into the video but before we begin, kindly hit the subscribe button and get notified for my upcoming video. Give me a like to this video and I will be much grateful. Now for every SMTP you create, getting a domain name is a must. We cannot create an SMTP without a domain name, so we need to get one. And in getting the domain, we are going to use Hostinger. So open your browser and visit Hostinger.com. It's not compulsory to use Hostinger. Feel free to use any provider you want. Also, if you already have a domain name you want to use, feel free to use that. There's no need to purchase a new one. After visiting Hostinger, click on Domains. Next, enter the domain name you want to use to create your Office 365 SMTP and click Search. Alright, I have already bought this domain and that's what I'm going to use in this video to create the Office 365 SMTP. Now it's important to use either .com or .net for your domain. These extensions helps in hitting inbox, but if you go for non-trusted extensions like .xyz, .online and the others, there is high chance of getting your emails in the spam folder. So it's always advisable to use .com or .net domain for SMTP configuration. Next, after getting the domain you want to use, add to cart and purchase it. If you're also using Hostinger for your domain and don't have an account yet, enter your email and password to register. But if you do already have an account, make sure to log in first before purchasing the domain. Next, fill in your details. Choose your preferred payment method and proceed to make the payment. Like I said before, I have already bought the domain I'm going to use in this tutorial so I will log into my dashboard then we proceed from there. Alright so that's my domain. So after you purchase your domain, click on the domains tab and then you will click manage next to your domain. We've now gotten our domain for the Office 365 SMTP. Next we will need Cloudflare account to manage our DNS records. So open a new tab and visit cloudflare.com. As stated earlier, if you already have a domain name, there's no need to buy a new domain. All you have to do is to follow along with me from this point to configure your Office 365 SMTP. If you don't have a Cloudflare account, it's free so kindly create an account and then log in. After logging into your Cloudflare dashboard, click on Add a Site. Next, enter your domain name. In my case, I will copy and paste the domain I bought from Hostinger. But if you bought yours from other providers like Namecheap or any other provider, just enter the domain name and click Continue. Next, scroll down and choose the free plan and click Continue. After choosing the free plan and clicking Continue, Cloudflare will scan the DNS records on your domain. When you get to this point, make sure to delete everything and click Continue. Next, copy your Cloudflare name servers and replace with the ones on your domain. If you're using Hostinger, you will click on DNS slash name servers, but if you're using other providers, make sure to locate where to change the name servers and then replace your domain registrar name servers with your Cloudflare name servers. Alright, so mine is changed. After changing the name servers, it takes some time to fully propagate. So make sure to wait about 30 to 60 minutes. Now once your name servers is fully propagated, you will see this message on your Cloudflare dashboard. That way you can proceed with the configuration. We are going to configure Office 365 SMTP. So open a new tab and visit office.com. Next, click on Products and select Microsoft Office. Now click on Get Microsoft 365 and select Business from the drop-down. We only need the basic plan which costs just $6 per month. Feel free to select any plan you could afford, but the basic plan is okay. Here choose one, select the monthly subscription and click Next. 
Enter your email and click Next. Next, fill in your personal info and click Next. For the phone number, you can use a service called TextVerify.com to receive the code. Next, enter your username, set up your domain name, create your password and click Next. Click Add Payment Method and proceed to make the payment. Congratulations! We have now created Office 365 account. Next, we are now going to configure the SNTP to start sending bulk emails with it. But before we proceed, kindly like this video if you're enjoying it and subscribe to get notified for my upcoming videos. Let's proceed. When you get to this point, click on Set Up Email with Custom Domain. Next, click Use a domain you already own. Now, enter your domain name and click Continue. So in my situation, I will copy and paste the domain I bought from Hostinger and proceed. At the Domain Verification section, click on More Options. Select Add a Verification Record and click Continue. Now we are going to add this TXT record in our Cloudflare account to verify our domain. Please note that your TXT record values will be different from mine, so don't use what I have been given. To create the TXT record, copy the TXT value and head back to your Cloudflare dashboard. Click DNS. Next, click Add Record. Select the type as TXT. Type the at symbol at the name field and then paste the TXT value you copy from your Office 365 account and save. Now we need to wait few hours for the propagation to be successful, and then Microsoft can verify our domain. Next, set up your sender email and proceed. After connecting your domain, Microsoft will log you out and then log in again using your new business email you created with your domain. Alright, so let's log in again. Select use another email. Now enter the business email you created when adding your domain to Office 365. For the password you will use your default password you set up during the sign up for your Office 365 account. We are officially in our Office 365 dashboard. Now let's perform the necessary configuration for our Office 365 SMTP. So click on the admin icon. Click show all and then click settings. Click on domains. Now select the domain you added to proceed. Click Continue Setup. Here, click More Options, and select Add Your Own DNS Records. We are going to add these records in Cloudflare, so starting from the MX Records, toggle it. Now copy the value and head back to your Cloudflare dashboard. Click Add Record. For the type select MX. At the name field, put there the at symbol and paste the value you copied into the mail server field. Set the priority to zero and then save. Next is the CNAME record. First copy the host name. Select the type as CNAME. Paste the host name at the name field and copy and paste its value.
turn off proxy status and save. Next is the TXT record. Now note this, in every SMTP configuration, there are three main records that plays an important role in making your SMTP kit inbox. These are the SPF record, DKIM record, and the DMARC record. For the sake of making this video not too long, I can't explain what each does, but what I can say is that they are the backbone of every SMTP configuration. So this record you see is my SPF record. That is why you could see SPF in the value. After setting up this SPF record, we will then configure the DKIM and the DMARC record, so let's proceed. Now I will copy my SPF value and herd back to my Cloudflare dashboard. Select the type as TXT. At the name field, put there the at symbol, and then paste the value into the content field and save. Now let's set up the DKIM and the DMARC record as stated earlier. For the DKIM record, click on the advanced options. Select DKIM. Now these are my DKIM records. Please yours will be different from mine, so don't copy what you see on my screen. The record type is CNAME, so I will copy the first host name. Choose the type as CNAME. Paste the host name at the name field. Next I will copy and paste its value. Turn off proxy status and save. Repeat same for the second record. Next, select this option and add its records too. I'm going to set up these two CNAME records and then we proceed. This part is optional so you can decide not to add them. But for the DKIM records, it's compulsory to add its records to hit inbox. When you're done, wait for about 30 minutes for the DNS to fully propagate and then click continue. Finally, the setup is complete. Click done to proceed. Alright, let's set up the last important record which is the DMARC record. But before that, we need to enable the DKIM to sign our emails for hitting inbox. This only happens in Microsoft because of security reasons. So let's enable it. And to do that, search for DKIM in the search bar. Click on the first option. Next, select your domain. And then enable it if yours is also disabled. So that's it. Finally, let's configure the DMARC record and then we are done with creating our Office 365 SMTP. To get the DMARC record, open a new tab and visit easydmark.com. Hover on products and select DMARC record generator from the menu. Enter your domain at the domain field. Enter the same email you set up in your Office 365 dashboard here. For the subdomain policy, select None. Select Relax for the SPF and DKIM alignment. Copy and paste your email here and then click Generate. All right, this is my DMARC record. First copy only the DMARC here, including the underscore and head back to your Cloudflare dashboard.
Select the type as TXT. Paste the DMARC at the name field and then copy and paste the generated DMARC record value and save. We are done with the configuration. This is how to create Office 365 SMTP. It's nothing extraordinary, right? Now let's test it out and check our sender score. So head back to your Office 365 admin dashboard. Click on the menu icon and choose Outlook. Delete the address and visit outlook.office365.com. Now this looks similar to the normal Outlook, but there are different. The address of the normal Outlook is outlook.com, but this is outlook.office365.com, so know the difference. Now I'm going to send an email to my Gmail to check the inbox rate. It's been sent. Now let's check it. So there you have it. Now let's check the sender score. Open a new tab and search for mail tester. Copy the generated email and send random email to the generated email given, and then come back to check your score. Congratulations to me. I managed to get 10 over 10 sending score. If you also follow everything I showed in this video step by step, you will also get 10 over 10. Finally, let me walk you through how to get your Office 365 SMTP credentials to connect to any bulk email sender to start sending bulk emails. Head back to your Office 365 admin center. Click on users and then select active users. You can create multiple sender emails. All you have to do is to click on add a user and then fill in the details to create new sender emails. Next, select the user you want. I only have one so I will click on that. Next, click on the mail tab. Click manage email apps and then enable authenticated SNTP and save changes. Now you have to repeat same if you create multiple users for your Office 365 SMTP. So after enabling the SMTP authentication, you can now connect your Office 365 SMTP credentials to any email sender and start sending bulk emails. You can visit my website franksarinan.com and get my bulk email sender on my website. In case you want the Office 365 SMTP credentials, this is how it should look like. There are a few things you need to put in your mind. So far as its Office 365 SMTP doesn't guarantee you will always hit inbox. There are so many factors that comes into consideration to make your emails hit inbox. One reason is if the domain name you use in configuring the SMTP is completely new. For that, there is a likelihood that your emails will hit spam, but it's normal for a newly created SMTP to hit spam folder, all because it's new and doesn't have any trust in the SMTP world. In my upcoming videos, I will dive deep and walk you through the science behind SMTP and explain everything and the decisions that goes into getting your emails into spam folder or hit the inbox. So once again, if you hit spam folder for the first time, don't panic, it's just normal for newly built SMTP. I hope you've learned. That's it for the video. Kindly give me a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more valuable content. Thanks for watching.